Have you ever wondered where exactly our Earth is located in the Milky Way galaxy? Just picture it for a moment. This vast, spiraling galaxy, home to billions of stars, and somewhere in all that cosmic grandeur, there's us, on a tiny blue planet. But where, in that celestial dance of galaxies, do we fit in? How do scientists pinpoint our place in the stellar sea? It's a fascinating question, isn't it? Well, you're about to find out. To understand our place in the Milky Way, we first need to understand the galaxy itself. The Milky Way, as we know it, is a sprawling cosmic city, home to hundreds of billions of stars, including our own sun. It's a vast spinning disk of stars, gas, dust, and dark matter, with a distinctive spiral shape that's reminiscent of a celestial pinwheel. The Milky Way is vast, stretching about 100,000 light years across. That's a distance so immense that light, traveling at a staggering speed of almost 6 trillion miles per year, would take 100,000 years to cross it. And while that's impressive, remember that the Milky Way is just one of possibly 2 trillion galaxies scattered across the observable universe. It's like a single grain of sand on an endless cosmic beach. The Milky Way's spiral shape is one of its defining features. It has several arms spiraling out from its center, where a supermassive black hole lurks. Our solar system with the Earth and Sun resides in one of these spiral arms, specifically the Orion Arm, about 26,000 light years from the galaxy's center. But the Milky Way isn't static. It's a dynamic, ever-changing system. The stars and gas within it are constantly moving and interacting, with new stars being born and old ones dying all the time. And the Milky Way itself is also in motion, spinning around its center and orbiting within a vast cosmic structure known as the local group. Understanding the Milky Way is like piecing together a giant cosmic puzzle. Scientists use a range of techniques and technologies to study it, from ground-based telescopes to space-based observatories. They examine everything from the light of distant stars to the distribution of dark matter to piece together our galaxy's structure and history. Now that we have a basic understanding of the Milky Way, let's move on to our planet's location in it. So, where is Earth in this massive spiral galaxy? Let's paint a picture. Picture the Milky Way as a cosmic frisbee, with a bulging center and sprawling arms spiraling outwards. The Earth? It's not in the center of this galactic spectacle. We're not the star of the show, but rather, we're located in one of the Milky Way's spiral arms, known as the Orion Arm. This location, while not central, is still quite special. Imagine the Milky Way as a bustling city, and the Orion Arm as a quiet suburban neighborhood. We're about halfway from the bustling city center, in a peaceful area that's a bit off the beaten path. It's not too crowded, but it's not too isolated either. We've got the best of both worlds. Now, let's talk distances. You know how we measure distances on Earth in kilometers or miles? In space, we use light years. A light year is the distance that light travels in one year. So when we talk about the distance from Earth to the center of the Milky Way, we're talking about an astronomical 26,000 light years. If you were to travel at the speed of light, it would take you 26,000 years to get there. But don't pack your bags just yet. Even at the speed of light, that's a trip you wouldn't finish in a human lifetime. This vast distance gives us a sense of just how enormous our galaxy is and how small our place within it. Yet despite our humble location, we have been able to unlock the secrets of the universe from our vantage point here on Earth. Our position in the Orion Arm provides us with a unique perspective, allowing us to observe and study the Milky Way and the vast universe beyond. So we're not in the center, but rather in one of the galaxy's outer arms. Being in the suburbs of the Milky Way might not sound glamorous, but it gives us a front row seat to the cosmic spectacle that is our universe. But how do scientists know this? What tools and techniques do they use? Well, two key methods they employ are parallax and redshift. Now, if you're imagining some kind of high-tech space gadgetry, you might be surprised. These are actually concepts rooted in basic physics and astronomy, but they're crucial for measuring distances in space and determining Earth's location. Let's start with parallax. You've experienced this phenomenon without even knowing it. Try this. Hold up your thumb and close one eye. Notice where your thumb appears against the background. Now switch eyes. Your thumb seems to jump, right? That's parallax. In astronomy, parallax is used to measure distances to nearby stars. Here's how it works. Astronomers observe a star from two different points in Earth's orbit around the Sun. The star appears to shift against the background of more distant stars. By measuring this shift and knowing the distance between the two observation points, astronomers can calculate the distance to the star using simple geometry. It's a bit like triangulation, if you're familiar with that term. 
However, parallax only works for relatively nearby stars. For more distant objects, astronomers use redshift. Now, this is where things get a bit more complex, but stay with me. Redshift is based on the Doppler effect, the same principle that causes a car's engine sound to change pitch as it passes you. For light, this effect manifests as a shift in color. Light from objects moving away from us is shifted towards the red end of the spectrum, hence the term redshift. When astronomers observe distant galaxies, they notice this redshift in the light they emit. The more distant a galaxy is, the faster it's moving away from us, and the more its light is redshifted. By measuring this redshift, astronomers can calculate how fast a galaxy is moving away, and from there, its distance from us. But how does this help us locate Earth in the Milky Way? Well, by measuring the distances to various objects around us, nearby stars using parallax and more distant galaxies using redshift, astronomers can map out our cosmic neighborhood. They can see where we are relative to other stars and galaxies and thus pinpoint our location in the Milky Way. It's a bit like being lost in a city and using landmarks to figure out where you are. Except instead of buildings, we're using stars and galaxies and instead of a city map, we have the entire universe. These methods aren't perfect and there's still much we don't know about our universe, but with every star we measure and galaxy we observe, we're getting a clearer picture of our place in the cosmos. With these techniques, scientists have been able to pinpoint our location in the Milky Way. Why does it matter where we are in the Milky Way, you may wonder? Well, our position in the galaxy significantly impacts our view of the universe and our understanding of our place in it. Imagine you're standing in the middle of a dense forest. Your view would be limited to the surrounding trees and vegetation, with little to no sight of what lies beyond. But if you were to climb up to the canopy or even fly above the forest, your perspective would drastically change. You'd see the forest, the fields beyond, even the distant mountains. The same concept applies to our position in the Milky Way. Our position, nestled within one of the galaxy's spiral arms, means that our view of the universe is largely obscured by interstellar dust and the sheer density of stars and planets around us. This makes it challenging for us to observe distant galaxies and celestial phenomena. However, our location also offers unique advantages. For instance, it provides us with a front row seat to study the structure of a spiral galaxy from within, offering invaluable insights into the formation and evolution of galaxies. Moreover, our location is relatively stable and safe, away from the chaotic and highly energetic center of the galaxy. This stability has likely played a crucial role in the development and survival of life on Earth. In essence, our location in the Milky Way is a key piece of the puzzle in our understanding of the universe. So now you know where we are in the Milky Way and how scientists figured it out. We've journeyed together through the cosmos, unraveling the methods used by astronomers to pinpoint our place in the galaxy. We've explored the concept of parallax, a clever trick of perspective that helps us measure distances to nearby stars. We've delved into redshift, a cosmic clue revealing the movement and distance of celestial bodies. We've also touched on the significance of Earth's location within the Milky Way. Nestled in a quiet, stable region of the galaxy, we're perfectly positioned to observe and study the universe around us. It's a testament to human curiosity and ingenuity that we've been able to understand our place in this vast cosmic ocean. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more fascinating facts about our universe, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.